everyone, I am Amanda from Manny Lynn Plans. Welcome back to another planner showdown video. Today I have the Hobonichi Cousin and the Ara Estelle Complete Weekly Vertical A5 Planners. We are going to take a look at these two page by page to see how they compare. There are a couple of versions of the Hobonichi Cousin. So just to clarify, I have the hardback cover. It's the full year version Han cover and this is the English version. They also have a Japanese. They have a two book system called an Avec. This is the complete full year for 2024 and the complete weekly vertical for Ara Estelle. So opening up here, they both have a title page. So in this Hobonichi Cousin, I have my name. There's also a very similar version in the Ara Estelle. Then the very next page on both of these planners are the yearly index. Now the Ara Estelle here first has four years and each year takes up half a page. So you have last year, the current year, and then the upcoming next two years. For the Hobonichi Cousin, here you can see that there's the full current year. So 2024 is nice and large. And then you have last year, 2023, and then the upcoming year, 2025. You do notice some color on the Hobonichi Cousin. So here the Sundays are red and the Saturdays are a little bit lighter of a gray color. But the biggest difference that I want to note in these two planners is that the Ara Estelle is a Sunday start monthly calendar and the Hobonichi Cousin is a Monday start. You can see that the text is a little darker on the Ara Estelle for the years and the month names. The color of the actual dates are pretty close. Then we turn the page to the yearly index. And these spreads are very similar. Here I have the Hobonichi Cousin on top. You can see that each page is divided into the quarter. So first quarter we have January, February, March for both planners. It's about the same amount of real estate here for each month. The Hobonichi Cousin has the date with some colored boxes for your weekends. And it also has Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, etc. In the Ara Estelle, it does have the dates, but it does not include the days of the week. So it might be easy to get a little confused on where you're at in the month. I like that the Hobonichi Cousin includes the day of the week. So that's something to note. Both planners have enough for all 12 months. So January to June and then July to December on the next spread. And then in the Hobonichi Cousin, you flip and you get right into the monthly section. And when you flip in the Ara Estelle, there is a blank spread and you're going to see a lot of blank spreads in this Ara Estelle. So we'll flip over one more page to get the first monthly. Now you'll notice that in the Hobonichi Cousin, they do give you December of the previous year. So if you like referring back or if you want to start your planners a little bit early, you do have that extra monthly spread in the Hobonichi Cousin before flipping and getting to the January spread. Here I've already used some stickers. Let me turn it to a spread I haven't used stickers on yet to compare. Again, we are seeing more of the red and the shaded gray for the weekends in the Hobonichi Cousin. Again, just like the year at a glance, the Hobonichi Cousin is a Monday start. The Ara Estelle is a Sunday start. Showing you the whole Ara Estelle monthly section here. You can see it's a much more minimalistic layout. You do have the month number, the month name, and the year. Your sidebar is completely blank. The only thing that you have in these boxes is the number. So there are no holidays, there are no moon phases. The Sunday and the Saturday are a little bit lighter of a gray. So these layouts are very similar with the exception of the color and the start day. And the Hobonichi Cousin, all of your monthlies are at the beginning. So all 12 plus a couple extra. So we have the December that was from the previous month. Then you get three additional months in 2025. So you have January, February, and March. Then in the Hobonichi Cousin, you open up right to the weekly section. But the Ara Estelle is laid out differently. So we have the January monthly. Then we have a blank spread. Then we get into the weekly for January. So the Ara Estelle is kind of shuffled its weeklies inside its monthlies, where the Hobonichi has monthlies, then weeklies, then the daily pages. The Ara Estelle has the month and the weeks shuffled in. So here you can see how the weekly looks in the Ara Estelle, completely minimalistic. 
you have columns, a sidebar, and then one for each of the days of the week. The weekly spread does start on a Monday, not a Sunday. If that throws you off, you could easily use a Sunday sticker or run some washi tape over and move your sidebar over to the right. There are no times. The only thing you have is January, and then it says week one. There's no little mini calendar. Very simple compared to the weekly spread in the Hobonichi Cousin. So here we have a dark navy box that says the month name and number, a little mini calendar. It tells you what week it is. There is a basic sidebar. You have a timeline from 5 a.m. to 4 a.m. It is military time, so a full 24 hours there. You do have the day, the date, and then some more color here over here on your weekends, complete with moon phases as well. So here's a comparison where you can see both the Ara Estelle and the Hobonichi Cousin. Let's keep flipping in the Ara Estelle. So we have week one, and then we have a blank spread, and then we get week two, same weekly layout, and a blank spread. We have week three, and a blank spread. Week four, you guessed it, a blank spread, and then we get to February. So not only are the monthlies and the weekly spreads shuffled in, but also a blank spread between every single printed page. This is great if you have extra notes that you want to add in, if you want to create a weekly dashboard for yourself, a big massive running to-do list. For me personally, I would not know how to use these pages well. I would have preferred more of these at the back of the book and we'll get there soon. But if you are the type of person that needs an extra blank spread between every single week, this is the planner for you. This continues on through the entire year. And in the Hobonichi Cousin, you have, you have weekly spread after weekly spread. There are no additional blank pages in between all the way through the end of the year. So here we have the last weekly spread and then in the Hobonichi Cousin, you turn the page and then you get a blank spread. It says turning the page to a new year. You have a little mini calendar of the previous month and January, 2024 before turning and seeing those daily pages. Now the daily pages in the Hobonichi Cousin are dated. So you have the date, the day of the week, the moon phase. It also tells you what day of the year. So January 1st is day one of 365 or 366 days. Every month has this blank spread. There's not even a grid on this page. It is completely blank except for the month name and number. There's also some color to the Hobonichi Cousin daily pages. So for the month of January, this is the color, February color. Here's the March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Also on the daily pages, you have some quotes at the bottom and a little mini calendar with the date circled. After the last week in the Ara Estelle, you start the blank pages. I looked this up online and it said 30 plus blank pages in the back. I think what that actually means is that there are 30 sheets so 60 or more blank pages in the back. They are not numbered. <laughs> I thought about counting them, but I thought it was odd that the website didn't specifically say the number of blank pages in the back. Then you can see the logo on the back. It's a collaboration with Ara Estelle and Annie Plans. And I guess I have book number 5031. So if you are somebody who really wants just a blank slate, these pages are great. Besides the grid, there is literally nothing else on them. Or if you need a little more structure to your daily pages, maybe the Hobonichi Cousin is for you. I would love to know your thoughts on these two planners down in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.